Well, I'm Carl Chow, the Executive Director of the Dallas Historical Society. So one of our members approached us and said he had a friend who had built a diorama of the Battle of the Alamo. It was the largest one that's ever been made. It's 24 feet by 14 feet. They were looking for a home for it. We just happened to be renovating the Hall of State here in Fair Park, and we were about to open up the South Texas Room, and we needed an exhibit. We thought, wouldn't it be great if we could have the Alamo diorama here? in the South Texas Room. This is the largest diorama of the Battle of the Alamo ever made. It was 20 years of labor and love to get this built. This diorama is a moment in time. It's about 6 a.m. and the Mexican troops are about to come in and it's really, it's a snapshot. You see, you know, where everyone is located. Now the team that built this, uh, led by Mr. Thomas Feely, he had a group of guys that did years and years of research, combined probably about 100 years worth of research on this model. It's taken them 20 years to build. Um, it's been redone at least three times. Although this diorama is a 3D item, um, it's not interactive. And we know that nowadays everyone wants to have some interaction with their exhibitry. So we look for um, different ways to make this thing come to life. Augmented reality is the thing and that's what kids want and that's what they know how to use. So we thought we definitely have to do some component that is not just a 3D model itself, but some augmented reality portion that works for this diorama. One of the great things about this app that we had built um, is that it does bring the characters to life. So when you have your phone or your iPad on there and you're looking at it and you click on something, everything starts moving. It's almost like the movie Avatar. It takes our characters and brings them to life and tells you the story of what happened at that area. One of the neatest things about this model is, is the, the sheer size and the number of figures on the board. And it's really hard to capture everything and see everything. Um, you know, the figures are smaller and it, it's such a large size so you can't always see what's happening in the middle of the diorama. With the uh, 360 capability, um, we are now able to go in anywhere on this map, drop ourselves like we're standing right there on the diorama floor and be able to look around like you're in the middle of it all. With the ability to drop down 360, there's just so much that you don't notice the first time, second time, or even third time around. But the ability to just be able to plop yourself on to 16 different locations on this map and to be able to look at things like you're standing there right in the middle of the field, it's pretty amazing. One of the other great things we had with this diorama is we had an overlay put in of exactly where it sits currently in downtown San Antonio and what is currently there. So when you go see the Alamo, you just see the facade on the front and then the barracks on the left. When you look at our diorama, you realize how much bigger space it took up. It's, it's you know, across the street, it's where the Cenotaph is. It takes up a lot more space than what people realize um, took place at the Battle of the Alamo. So one of the great things about this app also is it does bring some view into the interior of the buildings. So in the Long Barracks there was a battle that happened and if you're just looking at the diorama you don't realize that there's people in there and what's going on. But with the app you can actually click on it and it'll take you to the battle scene inside the barracks. So it gives you a much deeper understanding of what happened not just outside but actually inside as well. Another neat component of this app is the ability to look at items, specific items. So one of them is Jim Bowie's bed and Jim Bowie in the bed. And there's an ability to bring the characters actually to life on your phone or on your iPad where they're either, you know, wherever you place them. You can place them in your hallway, you can place them on the board, you can place them anywhere and be able to walk around it and just see it. The thing is we chose kind of a diverse range of characters. It's not just your usual suspects and you get to learn about people that you did not know about who were at the Alamo. And it kind of ties everything together. It kind of shows the Alamo from different perspectives. And um, you know, it's not just the stories of the same four or five people. It is people that were there and you know, it's documented history. It's just no one ever told it. So we thought we would pick some characters that people weren't as aware of and tell their stories. It, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's, it's, it's amazing what someone who has a love for this and the amount of time spent and how well researched it is that everything is there, everything's in place.